So let's write the code that will convert our item object into a dictionary that we can save to our Firebase. Uh, the same way we are doing here, we are creating a dictionary from a category. So we pass a category and get back a dictionary. So we need a function like this. So let's go to our items. After our curly braces, I'm going to put a mark, call this uh, helper functions. And here we are going to have a func item dictionary from and we're going to pass an item here. Which is going to be type of item. And this is going to be returning an NNS dictionary. So we're going to straight away go to return NS dictionary. And I'm going to create with objects, plural and keys. So we have array of objects. If we hit enter on it, remove any, and we're going to have item with a small letter. Dot, and then we start from top. It's item ID, item dot category ID, comma item dot name comma item dot description comma item dot price comma item dot image links so we have our uh, objects now we need to put our keys uh, let, let's write the first one which is k object id as ns copying because we need to keep the protocol here i'm going to copy the past uh, the part which says as ns copying because we are going to use it for every single key and then we say k category id as ns copying k name as ns copying uh, comma k description as ns copying k price and finally k image links so that we have all our keys and all our values set here well, this function is ready to go and we are going to write another function on top of it in order to use this to save our items to firestore so we say mark save items and then we're going to say func save item to fire store and we're going to pass the item here which is a type of item and this is not going to return anything all we need to do is as we did with our category here uh, we are going to access our Firebase reference and then just set that we want now to work with items. So we go here, we say uh, Firebase reference and we say dot items. Now we access our items. They say dot document and we want to create a document with ID and ID is going to be our item ID. So we are going to say uh, item dot id and then we want to set the data and our data is going to be a dictionary of string any and this uh, we are going to get from our function here so we will say item dictionary from item and we're going to pass our item here and just we need to specify that this is as string any. And this function will go and take care of our saving the item. So right now we have all the functionality to save an item and to create an item. 
So we have our initializers, we have a way to save. Uh, for now, we don't have an option to download it, but we are going to write it later on. First, we want to just create some dummy items so we can work with. Our users, on the other hand, will not be able to create their own items because the idea of our online shop is somebody owns the shop and they are going to only put the items for sale. The user cannot put an item for sale. User can only browse the items and buy them. So even though we are going to write the code in order to add items, our user will not have this functionality to add himself the items, only the shop owner. So um, let's go to our main storyboard. And here in our items uh, view controller, table view controller, we are going to add a button that will allow us to create some items. So let's grab a bar button item. And I'm going to position it on top here. I didn't work. Let me just select our segue. Sometimes there is an Xcode bug here. And we are going to change the segue type to deprecated segue push. And then we're going to move it back to push. Uh, let's try to put bar button item again. And this time it works. So I'm going to change the style in from custom to add. So we have this plus button here. And every time we click this button, we're going to be displayed with a another view that we are going to enter the information about our item so that we can save this item to our Firestore. Uh, with this, uh, we're going to work on the code in our next lecture.